Hello! Welcome to the Hewitt Public Library Early Literacy Storytime. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends. It's time to say hello. We are going to start um, today's story time with a video from Kristen Davis. We're so excited that she is collaborating with the Hewitt Public Library. She is a speech and language therapist at um, Baylor University, and she is sharing some tips with us today on asking questions as you're reading with your child. I hope you enjoy it. Hi, my name is Kristen Davis and I am so excited to be here talking to you. I am a speech language pathologist and I work at the Speech and Language Clinic at Baylor University. I'm happy to be collaborating with the library to bring you some helpful tips on building your child's language. By helping to build your child's language, you're also helping them establish that foundation that they need for when they are ready to read. Our next tip is about questioning during books. It's just what it sounds like, asking questions during the story. You can do this after you read or during the book. You can ask open-ended questions so that your child doesn't feel pressure to get the right answer. So here's an example with, of what this may look like. Instead of asking a question like, what color is Mary's dress? You can ask, why do you think Mary is wearing that red dress? This opens up a dialogue about the book and gives opportunities for more complex language to occur. Phrases such as, what do you think might happen? Or, how would you feel if? These are all great questions to ask while you read the story. As always, our goal is for participation, not perfection. Some books that you can practice this with are Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day, or Today I Feel Silly. I hope you found this tip helpful and I'll see you soon. I hope you enjoyed the tips from Kristen Davis. We appreciate her collaboration with the Hewitt Public Library. I have a few books to share with you. Um, in the back, these are all Christmas themed. I have Santa's Little Helper. Um, this is actually the one that I'm reading in early literacy today. It's about a little rabbit, Snowball, and a story about how he ends up on Santa's sleigh and everything that happens. And then in the back, I have The Night Before Christmas. I've read some different books that follow the same plot line, um, such as with the snowman and the different ones. Um, but this is the original, The Night Before Christmas by Clinton Seymour. And then the one in the front, I Love You More Than Christmas, is about a little bear family. And they're just all caught up in Christmas activities. And they just keep trying to say, I love you more than Christmas. And then they're interrupted by the next activity and the next activity. So it's a fun story. It would be a good bedtime story. Um, and then this is the Elves' First Christmas and Christmas is Joy. Are you ready for story time? Are you ready for story time? Clap your hands. Are you ready for story time? Clap your hands. If you're ready for story time, if you're ready for story time, if you're ready for story time, clap your hands. Are you ready for story time? Nod your head. Are you ready for story time? Nod your head. If you're ready for story time, if you're ready for story time, if you're ready for story time, nod your head. Santa's Little Helper by Angela McAllister, illustrated by Daniel Hallworth. Santa's Little Helper. It was the day before Christmas. Snowball was excited. He hopped and skipped to play with his brothers and sisters. He hurried past his friends building a snowman. He giggled at Mr. Polar Bear's stories. Soon he met his brothers and sisters. We are going to play hide and seek, they yelled. Do you want to play? Yes, said Snowball, and he set off to find a good place to hide. 
The first place wasn't big enough, so he went farther. Can I hide behind you? Snowbell asked Miss Snowball, asked Mr. Walrus. Sorry, Snowball, he replied. I was just going somewhere. No, he says, I was just going swimming. He was going swimming. The next place Snowball found was too cozy, so he kept looking. Snowball was so excited, he found a perfect place to hide. He stayed very still. He waited and waited and waited and waited, but nobody could find him. Snowball was so quiet that after a while, he fell asleep. Snowball didn't hear the footsteps crunching through the snow. Ho, 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 a voice chuckled. I nearly left this behind. Santa picked up the sleeping bunny and placed him in his sack of presents. <gasps> Snowball woke to the sound of jingle bells and a deep voice humming a merry tune. Snowball peeped out. The starry day spun around him. The wind whistled through his whiskers. I must be dreaming, he gasped. Then the sleigh landed with a bump and Snowball tumbled out into the snow. Hello there, little one, chuckled Santa Claus. He picked Snowball up. What a surprise. I thought you were one of the toys. Would you be my little helper, he asked. Snowball nodded happily. They were, there were stockings to fill. There was so much to be done. There were lots of presents to carry. At last, all the sacks were empty. Merry Christmas, Snowball, said Santa Claus. I could never have done all this without you. Then he gave Snowball a special Christmas present. Now we'd better get you home, he smiled. Santa tucked Snowball under a warm, cozy blanket and he fell asleep. The reindeer galloped through the night sky. Snowball didn't even wake up when Santa Claus carried him back to his burrow. The next morning, his brothers and sisters found him at last. Where did you hide? They asked. We looked everywhere. I was so still and so quiet, I fell asleep. But I had a wonderful dream. Well, you won't have to be still and quiet today, said his brothers and sisters. Come on, it's Christmas. Hooray, cried Snowball, and as he ran happily after them through the snow, the jingle of a tiny bell told him that his Christmas dream was true. I hope you enjoyed today's story. And a couple of activities are on the Facebook flyer, if you would like to go on there um, to get the directions. One is to make a Christmas tree, and it's just, you can use washi tape or masking tape. Um, if you use washi tape, you can even do this on the wall, but you could also do it on a piece of paper, on a poster board, and you just tape the outline of a tree and then give your child some bows with the sticky on it and they can decorate the tree. And so it's just an easy, fun um, arts and crafts activity that if you just need something to keep your child busy for a few minutes, it's easy, you can do it. You could also do it after opening presents and you're just trying to get them to kind of help clean up and put the little Christmas tree up and there you go. You have an activity for them while you're cleaning up um, after opening gifts on Christmas morning. The other one is to make either a winter wreath or a Christmas wreath and um, whatever theme you want, but it gives the instructions on the materials that you need and the directions. And basically it's starting with a paper plate and cutting out the center and then the materials you need to decorate the edge of the plate um, before you, you finish it. So the one 
that you have the instructions on gives uh, specifics on making a wreath that's um, slightly more Christmas themed, but you could do winter or Christmas. So I hope you'll check those out and that um, you'll get a chance to do some of those activities. Um, I have a couple of finger plays. Okay, so the first one is a chant, actually, and it's the peppermint chant. Um, so it goes like this. Peppermint, peppermint, peppermint tea. Peppermint, peppermint, peppermint knee. Peppermint, peppermint, peppermint pie. Peppermint, peppermint, peppermint eye. Peppermint, peppermint, peppermint cake. Peppermint, peppermint, peppermint shake. Peppermint, peppermint, peppermint. Shoo! Peppermint, peppermint, peppermint. Bless you. And so, as you notice, the ending word rhymes. You could try to extend it and come up with some new rhymes, um, but this helps with rhyming and um, it's slightly Christmas themed with the peppermint. Okay, so the, the, next, um, the next one I have to share is a song. And it goes to the tune of We Wish You a Merry Christmas. This is a good one to teach now that you can use later as a filler activity. And um, so when you have one of those moments that we all have where the kids are kind of going crazy and you just need a little order, you need to get some energy out of their system and you need it now, um, this is a fun one to do. So it goes to We um we wish you a Merry Christmas. It starts with clapping, and then you can change it to jumping, twirling, whatever you would like to change it to, to just get that energy um, used. So, let's all do a little clapping. Let's all do a little clapping. Let's all do a little clapping and spread Christmas cheer. And so, your children would clap along as you sing the song. So you can be doing whatever you need to be doing, and if you've already taught this, then you can just start singing, and now you have something for your children to do. So that's fun and useful. The um, last one I have is Here is the Chimney. And so this one is a finger play. And you start with a closed fist. So here is the chimney, make a closed fist with your thumb in, here is the top. You put the palm of your hand over the top of your fist. Open the lid, remove your hand quickly, and out Santa will pop. So here is the chimney, here is the top. Open the lid and out Santa will pop. So that gives you three songs, finger plays, chants um, to do this week with your child. I hope you have a good week. Alright, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye.